We're here, in the field, at the Queensway Public Laboratories, to stage a dramatic reconstruction of the alleged incident. The gentlemen's laboratories at Minneapolis Airport had become a notorious cruising ground for what is known as cottaging. Police Sergeant Dave Krisnir was trained to spot the telltale signs as they came. First, Dave's senses were heightened when he recognised that another man was loitering outside his cubicle, trying to work out if there was somebody inside. He then entered the neighbouring cubicle. Now, according to the Senator's testimony, the moment he sat down onto the lavatory seat, he spread his legs wide because he's a fairly wide guy. And in order for the elastic of his underboxer to remain attached to the leg, as opposed to falling onto the potentially hazardous floor below, he needed that wide posture. This may have caused the foot accidentally to stray into the neighboring partition. This is the moment at which the controversial foot incident may or may not have happened. As for the alleged twitching of the foot, so as to signal the senator was up for it, this could alternatively be explained by any of the usual exhilarations or discomforts of passing emotion. Things from the perspective of Police Sergeant Dave Kresnir looked rather different. The final piece of evidence against Senator Craig is that once foot contact was established under the cubicle partition, the Senator then reached his hand under the cubicle and with the palm upwards began twitching it, which, according to local cottaging etiquette, signalled availability. The Senator answers this with the following explanation. I don't recall. I remember reaching down once. There was a piece of toilet paper back behind me and picking it up. Okay. Was your, was your palm down or up when you were doing that? I don't recall. Okay. It is just possible that the Senator is telling the truth and that having dropped a piece of lavatory paper that fell in a acrobatic fashion, the Senator's hand then went under to scoop the lavatory paper and return it to its useful function in his own cubicle. Could Senator Craig be telling the truth? <laughs>